Good morning, everyone. This is Spook, and we are live with Blaster Master Zero. I played this last a couple of years ago. Um, no, it doesn't give me a date on the. Uh... Okay. So I actually don't know what the multiplayer mode is is supposed to be. So that's. Uh... Yeah, this this one here is pretty close to the original, um, and then it kind of forges its own path with two and three. Okay, um, so the first thing I want to do. Um, oh, the receiver's off, so I should be getting fewer dumb messages that I don't care about. So, yeah, that's like there's this thing where you'll have a remake that adds a bunch of unnecessary cutscenes and interruptions. And this one's not too bad because at least you can turn them off. But one of the worst offenders. Oh, is there a way to uh, aim on a diagonal with a oops without moving? Okay, that just brings up my menu, so that's not the trick. So I'm trying. I'm trying what I would do in Contra 3 to make a diagonal shot without moving, but apparently that's not an option. Hold on, hold on. There's probably something in the... Uh... Oh, none of this is remotely helpful. Oh, hey, here we go. Okay, right button for change angle. Okay. So, like I said, it has been a couple of years. Not not as uh, not as dramatically as the difference between when I oh oh I just okay I get it I just hit the I hit the right bumper and I just aim up. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, it's not as egregious as the uh, nearly twenty years since I played Fate and Kaitos. Which I do need to get back to, and I'm probably going to do that tomorrow evening. Oh, no, I thought we said receiver off. Come on, game. I'm here to lead, not read. Uh, and there we go. So, yeah, this entire first level is almost exactly like the one from the NES. Oh, rats. I forgot how crap my uh, falling range is. So... I'm going to do the usual here, and uh, kind of grind up my... Okay, so in outside of the tank, I can lock myself into a direction. There we go. Oh, that's right, your grenades are limited. Ooh. Oh, that was a nice drop. I mean, it kind of sucks that I took a hit to get it, but... Uh... So... <laughs> I have this, uh... I have this ray-traced, um... bit of art on my... Uh, desktop. Okay, that's a fun weapon. Uh, I, I, I have it as my desktop background, and it's... If you were in a cube made out of cubes, uh, this would be basically the corner of that cube. And I, I was playing around with Pavre last night, which, you know, I don't do enough of to be any... to be competent with it most of the time. You rat bastard. There we go. You know, it might just be more efficient to farm by going in and out and grabbing that one um, weapon upgrade. 
behind the uh, bomb door. I really couldn't decide what I was going to play today because I didn't practice Stellaris at all, so I'm still kind of in the dark with that one. Um, and, like, I, I, I didn't feel like going back to Satisfactory would have been correct. So I'm like, well, what do I do? So I'm like, well, this isn't exactly <clears throat> something that would fall under the the idea of the chill stream, but uh, we'll see. It's relaxing for me, because I happen to enjoy this game and all the exploration it allows. grab the last uh, the last thingy from over here and that'll be that I gotta say the um, the parts where you're outside of the tank improve dramatically once you get the um, the item that lets you shield your basically shield your weapon loss wait I have one that just pierces walls it's just there we go This thing was overpowered as heck in the original, too. <laughs> it's uh, still a favorite for that very reason. Oh! Of course, the weapon upgrades don't translate uh, into the overworld. So let's, let's get back in the safety of my nice shiny tank. Oops. In the NES version, you would hit select to, ju to uh, jump out of your tank. Yeah, my habit when playing this game is to reach for exactly the wrong button. Like it's still 1990 or whatever. So I'm going to wind up doing a little more exploration than I did last time that I played this because I honestly do not remember where everything is. Um, and I, I want to 100% the items this time because it's, that's the only way you get the good ending. So that's, that's kind of important. The last time I uploaded this was back in 2001 and it uh, and I shamefully had one of the bad endings where the, uh, the girl who rescued just dies in the tank. It's like, well, that, that stinks. actually do what they're supposed to. Oh, oh no, no, no. I don't want to be down here. Or maybe I do. I think this actually takes me to the boss for the level. It's interesting because there was a bug in the in the original game that affected like two or three bosses that made it so you barely had to fight them. You just had to drop a grenade on them, and then their pain animation would continue while they were paused, which also meant that they kept, kept taking damage while while the game was paused. Which is very weird. Oh, 
Oh good, we have yelling idiots in the hallway again. grenades. Well, shame I don't use the regular grenades all that often. But, oh well. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I am anxiously awaiting the, uh, the delivery of a water jump today. That's... I, I feel like such an old man sometimes, and that's, that's definitely one of those moments. Um, and I, what bothers me is I still have to keep an eye on you know, when the order is coming in and basically wait by the door uh, for the guy to deliver it. Because I know some shithead's going to steal the package right from my front door if I leave it there for longer than a minute. Like, I, it's almost... I'm almost tempted to just sit there, you know, watching through the people until I find the person who's been doing it and then just jump out and, I don't know, club them. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if it was the same um, little shits that have been pounding at my door and running away. Oh, hey, that. They're telegraphing a boss fight. Mother Brain, no, not, no, not that one, should be the subtitle. Like, why did they add that? Why did they add that? Um, dialogue, or monologue even. It serves no purpose whatsoever. There we go. That's right, they warp you out of the dungeon because reasons. So, ten minutes in, we already got the uh, the weapon we need to escape this area, which is nice. Eh, okay. Well, see, again, that does convey some information, but at this point, you're fairly limited in where you can actually go, so I don't know if that's necessary. I'm guessing I'll probably hit Area 5 again, and then my motivation to play this will be immediately sapped by the fact that it's a frickin' water level. So, I... I really, really dislike water sections in games. Like... Even more than stealth sections sometimes, because... You can cram a stealth section into any part of a game, and it'll be incredibly irritating, but at least you still have the same control over your character that you did in every other level. Um, and it was just a thing, and I think it's one of those times where people took the wrong lesson from Super Mario Bros. Um, like, that had a couple water levels in it, so every developer thought, well, obviously we need to have something like this in our game because Super Mario Brothers did it, and that was a massive success. So, at least that, that's my hypothesis, but like, every game would have that one level where it's like, nope, you're stuck here. Everything you know about how to control your character is now wrong. There we go. Hmm. 
Well, I guess we'll find out what's in here. Just, uh, just for the sake of curiosity. I should probably just take notes and uh, make my own map for next time I play this. I mean, I've done that with enough other games. At least essential sections, like my my green notebook, um, in addition to having a list of uh, potions from Terraria that I never double check. <laughs> okay, so is this another boss fight? This, this can't be a very interesting one. Oh, it's a, a mob. Okay, so yeah, these, if I remember correctly, the weapon of choice here is the, uh, yeah. Yeah, that gets rid of those mines very nicely. Oh, except when I... Oh, Jesus. Well. Ah, they are just unpredictable enough to make my life miserable. Okay, you know what? I shouldn't have said that this boss was bad or inconsequential. Because I'm taking damage. Okay, please die. You've had your fun. And I still got out of it with uh, full health and weapons. I mean, I had to get drops for it, but I still did it. And... Oh, okay. I will probably never use that. Okay, so other than one cave down in the lower left, we've got this area pretty much cleared. Okay, that's like way below me. Can I even get down there at this point? Maybe I can. I'm curious. I can't. I can't get up that wall. Alright, we'll just have to come back. That was a complete waste of time. Thankfully it wasn't a lot of a lot of time. Okay, on to area two. Um, let's see how this goes. No, don't, don't. Dialogue not permitted. Oh yeah, these little guys. So the way you would handle stuff like that in the original was uh, 
one of your starting weapons that you could fairly easily find ammo for just uh, send a lightning bolt underneath the uh, vehicle. So it was fairly handled to you. Fairly easy to handle little guys like that. Right now, I'm just like, nope, guess I gotta wait for the homing missiles. And you can occasionally do that, too, but... I think the homing missiles are soon. I'm not... 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure you get them in this area. So I changed where my, uh, <laughs> where my controller is hooked up. Basically, I moved this USB hub to the right-hand side of my laptop. Um, because the left-hand side is where the, uh, where the capture card is going to hook up. Because I, I wanted that to have its own connection. Uh, ideally, I would like the, uh, the soundboard to have its own connection, too. But that's not always an option. But I think my USB hub is at least USB 2, so it shouldn't be. Uh, this is just a map, isn't it? Okay, looks like we have one other room in here to check out. Okay, so this is a room just for farming, basically. Okay. Good to know, but uh, doesn't really advance things. Also didn't give me homing missiles, 0 out of 10. Oh, I guess, uh, I guess we're gonna have to improve my ability to jump soon as well, since that, since you can just, just fall short a little bit. Oh, good morning, Envious Kitten. How are you doing? Keeps reminding me that uh, I gotta work tomorrow, and uh, I am not enjoying that at all. Also, I really miss my girlfriend. That's another thing that, like, we were supposed to try to do something, but she's like, "Well, it might not happen. Uh, I'm probably, I might just wind up staying, staying in bed." I'm like, you know, I totally understand that. You know, work schedules will do that to you. Uh, but then they wound up going somewhere else entirely. Like, really? But, I don't know. It sounds like she just didn't remember that she had plans. But it still, it still kind of, kind of bums me out. But uh, I started work on something last night. A uh, little, little project in Pavre. No, oh, this is quick. I'm kind of learning how materials work in Pavre, and that's its own kind of thing. Um, but I've managed to make a bunch of rounded cubes of glass, and I'm trying to figure out how to... Uh, <coughs> how to make what I'm looking at more visually interesting. I mean, the, the source file is only about 73 lines of code so far, but uh, what I want to do is uh, add a random number generator to randomly pick pick the materials uh, in this cube, 
or pick the colors uh, for the uh, various cubes, uh, which I did before with the uh, the random dice uh, creator that I had. <coughs> Excuse me. And what have we here? I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but... Alright, we'll just spam with bullets. Woo! There we go. Hey, there's the homing missiles that I was lusting after. 